For payroll, I always tell the class, it, believe it or not, you have a, some kind of a job security. Because even if you have one employee, you still need someone to pay. Hi, my name is Simon, Simon Leung. I'm a Chartered Professional Accountant and a Certified Payroll Manager. I, I'm here uh, at ABM College as an instructor. I, I'm teaching uh, financial accounting and payroll courses. The Accounting and Payroll Administration Diploma, the program is 48 weeks plus another four weeks of practicum, so a total of 52 weeks. And you will learn a whole range, I guess, of, of financial accounting all the way to taxation, managerial accounting. The exciting part is the, 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 uh, the three payroll courses because we line up payroll courses with the Canadian Payroll Association PCP program, the Payroll Compliance Practitioner program. So at the end, our goal is always to want all our students to go and get the destination from a Canadian Payroll Association. We are using the most popular uh, accounting software right now employers uh, use QuickBooks. QuickBooks is by far, I think, the most uh, popular accounting software right now in North America. Uh, we also will introduce uh, Sage Accounting. Last six, seven years, I think uh, QuickBooks became so popular nowadays. Uh, we're focusing more time on teaching our students on how to use QuickBooks. And that will definitely give them an advantage when it comes to a job opportunity. I don't know how many students have asked that question. Why do we need to hire a bookkeeper nowadays? I can purchase uh, off-the-shelf uh, software like QuickBooks and I can do everything myself as an employer, which is true. You can. You can even do payroll yourself. The challenge is, are you current? For payroll, the compliance part is very important. You're taking on a huge risk if you're not current and comply with all the, the legislation. If you have multiple branches, offices in different provinces, employment standards are all different in different provinces. So yes, you can do everything yourself, but you can also rely on someone who, who you know is qualified to do the work. And as an employer, you will be focusing on expanding your business, finding new markets, and not doing bookkeeping. For our students, I would say, why are we better than uh, other programs? Because we, we know our instructors, they actually, they're all practitioners. They're in industry. We know what the employers want. We know what the market uh, wants. And we train our students, we teach our students do not become just a bookkeeper because anybody can be a bookkeeper using that software. You have to help the employers, help the business owners to analyze those numbers. Tell them what they can do in order to make them more profitable or save their money, be more efficient. For all our courses, we have uh, morning, evening, as well as weekends that students can pick you know, depending on their, their working schedule, or uh, we have we have uh, students that uh, they can only take morning because they have a afternoon uh, job. They start in the afternoon, they finish like midnight. So that flexibility, as well as right now, uh, is all recorded. So in case you really cannot make it to the, uh, the class, you can always watch it at your own convenience, right? You can think about, sometimes, you know, when I went to university myself, you know, there's no recording. If I miss something, if I, if I really did not understand what the, uh, the lecturer, the instructor uh, said, like, uh, I have to go and figure it out myself. The, the good thing is about the discussion board I like, students will post a question and then other students will jump in and share. So you really create that environment. And even in class, people, because some students, they are shy, they don't want to speak up. But when, you, when you're online, they, don't, they, don't, they, they, they will just share their knowledge. So I think this, this is our advantage. Since uh, the COVID-19, we cannot meet face-to-face -face here with the students. But I, 
and other instructors as, as well, we're trying to create that environment that through virtual meeting, we want to engage, we want to engage other students with discussions, share our own personal finance uh, or uh, what they want to know uh, how to deal with a certain problem at, at work on a daily basis. It, we try to make, make it like we are in the, in the classroom rather than just going through the teaching material. And of course, you know, if you teach a taxation class or financial accounting, you know, this is the time that everybody, all the students will ask you about taxes, right? Because we all have to, uh, we don't want to pay. Yeah, that, that's, that's why it's so interesting, you know, in <laughs> class. It's always you can get the people to jump in and, and create that debate. Well, we go through all the, all the assigned material, the reading, because we have to prepare everyone for exam especially for the uh, payroll exam. But other than that, we, you know, we always spend half an hour and just to ask everyone, do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? If we try to give knowledge to the students that, that, that can keep them, you know, interested to ask, then I think, uh, oh, I mean, we're doing a good job in uh, creating a fun environment, you know.